Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about what I have found the four most common things men do to actually put themselves into the friend zone. Now, I've been friend zoned before. I know what it feels like when a man, we really like this girl, we want her to like us so much, and we do so many things, and then we get the text, or we get the phone call, or those texts, those phone calls get less and less, they get shorter and shorter, and then finally she says, hey Jared, I like you, but I think we should just be friends. It's a kick in the balls. As a man, we've all been there. But this video is for men who may have noticed a repeated pattern where every time they talk to a girl or they have an interest in a girl, in the beginning, it's really cool. She's vibing with you. She's texting back. All of these things, da 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 da, da. and all of a sudden, she just flakes. She ghosts. She may not even have to tell you, "Hey, I just want to be friends." She just stops communicating with you altogether. Or the worst one is, I think of you as a brother. I think of you as a good friend. Fuck, nothing's gonna get us softer than those two phrases. So I want to tell you guys. In my coaching and helping men, these are about the four main reasons why you keep finding yourself in the friend zone. And I've done videos on the friend zone before and I've done videos on how it's really hard to get out of the friend zone. So the best way to get out of the friend zone is never to get into it in the first place. So with that, the very first thing I've noticed in my own experience, after I cut this shit out, it actually increased. But the very first thing I notice when I'm talking to men who are continually finding themselves in the friend zone is too early on, they're giving too much value. They're trying to impress her so hard. Maybe if you're in the beginning stages and you're just texting, you're doing these long fucking paragraphs, and you're telling her about your hopes and your dreams and how you're not this type of guy and how she's so beautiful and you're giving her all this attention and she's like, hee hee hee, oh my God, oh my God. Listen guys, you have to understand, women will fucking suck your attention away. That doesn't mean she actually wants to sleep with you. They love attention. She might have three or four guys all giving her the same fucking compliments, the same long solilo soliloquies, she knows the game. You have to remember, on average, even the fatties out there, even the women who aren't really good looking, their DMs are filled with fucking simping guys. So you don't want to simp. You don't want to be like the rest of those guys, right? Makes sense. No, you want to stand out. So the guys who typically go all in early, you get the girl's phone number, maybe you met her at the bar, maybe you met her at church, I don't care how you met her, you give her too much value too soon. So in order to combat overly giving her too much value, too many compliments, too much of your attention, you want to do what's called a slow burn. I call it tennis. You send a text, hit that fucker over the net, let her respond. If she doesn't respond, don't send another text because then that shows her she's more in control of this new relationship than you are. And it's not a power struggle, I'm not saying that, but you wanna make a balance. You want her to invest just as much time and effort and attention into you as you are to her. So if you over give your time, over give your attention, over give the compliments, she's gonna have this feeling of, oh, I'm the prize. And she's actually gonna get bored with this because guys, I gotta understand, women do want a challenge. They don't want an asshole, but they do want a challenge. So if a guy's not overly complimenting her, if a guy's not overly investing her, she's going to want to wonder more about you. She's like, why is Jared not blowing me up like fucking Greg and Sam and whoever the fuck your name is? She's gonna start looking to you like, huh, you should be busy, you should be doing other things. This is why I tell guys, especially in the beginning stages, one of the ways 
guys fall into this is they get one-itis. They're not talking to multiple women. They're not out there living their life. They're just waiting for her text. They're just waiting for her to respond. And then we hit that dopamine hit and then we just blast them again. Make it a slow burn. You send a message, she sends a message. If she asks you a question, it's a very long statement, don't send it. Just say, hey, I'd love to explain that to you when we meet up for dinner or whatever, if you made plans for her. Don't send these long messages, okay? Keep your messages short, keep them concise, keep them playful. Don't send all these long, sappy things. Women get dried up from that. So the very first thing is stop giving so much upfront validation, so much upfront value to her. The second one, we sort of touched on it, but it is putting in more effort than her. Now, of course, we are the pursuers, especially in the beginning stages. She does have the power, of course, but we don't have to give them even more of the power that they already have. And if you're putting in more effort than her, overly more effort than her, it solidifies her power position. And some women get off on that. Some women, I would say a majority of women, actually don't like that. This is kind of what turns them off. They're not gonna say this, but they're like, my God, he's trying so hard. He, you know, and they might like that, but they get this kind of ick inside. They're like, fuck dude, just relax. Cause men, we're visual. She's hot, she's a great piece of ass, she looks beautiful, she's smart. She can strum some fucking sentences together. We're all in. We're like, damn. Women are more of a slow burn. They're like a wait and see. Like, I like Jared, but let's just see how it goes. They're not all in. They don't operate under the same operating system we do. They have different firmware. So understanding her firmware, understanding that you can't force her to like you. She might like you a little, let that grow. If you overly force it and you're giving her so much value and you're not allowing her to wonder about you, if you're not allowing her that space to think about you, to maybe talk to her girlfriends about you, if you're always there, she's gonna automatically get used to you and she's gonna kind of feel funny about it. She's not gonna be able to put into words what it is, but this is why it is. They wanna know about you and they wanna learn about you, but they don't operate the same way we do. We're automatically, we can invest our emotional bandwidth very quickly. They don't do it that way. So give the relationship space. Back to texting, again, Everything, all communication should be a game of tennis. You fucking lob that ball over and then wait for her to respond. If she doesn't respond for a day, this is another reason why they throw you in friend zone. You start sending more messages. Okay, haven't heard from you. Is everything all right? And then you keep sending and then you might even get more anxious and say, did I say something wrong? What do I do? This is the crop. She's like, oh my God. I can't leave this fucker alone for a couple hours and he's blowing me up. She's going to get turned off by that. Far better to ask a question if it takes her an hour, three hours, a couple days, who gives a shit? If she doesn't respond at all, even better, you know her answer, move on. So stop going all in, stop putting in more effort than she is on the front end. Make it a balance. The third one is, we talked about she needs to wonder about you and a, a woman's emotions are a slow burn. They have to kind of wonder about you. They kind of have to miss you a little bit. They, they don't really like predictability. And if you're always predictable, oh, Greg's gonna fucking text me good morning, 7 a.m., he's been doing it for a whole week. He's gonna do this, he's gonna do that. It's sort of boring. Okay, so you want to be a little unpredictable and if you're trying to stand out from the herd of the men, most men are gonna do this. Most men are gonna be very predictable because they feel like if I don't do these things, she's not gonna like me. If I don't shower her with compliments and do all these things, she's gonna forget about me. If she likes you, she's not gonna forget about you right away. 
what she's going to do if you're going to be the exception and you're not going to be predictable, maybe you don't even say good morning to her and it's like three o'clock and then she messaged you. That's good. She's wondering, she's like, what the fuck? Jared didn't, he didn't message me today. Maybe you're busy. Maybe you have your kids. Live your life. Don't wait and live and die by this fucking phone waiting for her to communicate to you. She's not going to forget you. She's actually going to respect you more and she's going to wonder about you more. And attraction grows in space. Attraction does not grow when you're up her ass all the time. Attraction grows in space. As long as you understand that key little thing, give her the space, she's going to have the opportunity to become more attracted to you. And obviously this all goes to communication. I have coached so many men where I've actually looked at their cell phone. I've looked at what they're doing. They're over, you're just communicating too much to her. The front end of the relationship, you should have some mystery about you. You shouldn't, you don't wanna tell her your life story. You certainly don't wanna tell her about Oh, my wife cheated on me and I'm so hurt. I'm a wounded deer, blah, blah, blah. Don't do any of that shit. You want to keep every time she's talking to you, you want to keep it fun. You want to keep it very short because you want to move her into actually seeing you on a date. A lot of guys, they get thrown in the friend zone and they don't even ever meet the girl. Maybe they go on one date by the time they get to the second date, she's like, Jared, I just wanna be friends because you're blowing her fucking up all the time. You're over communicating. If she doesn't have to wonder about you, if you told her your entire life story, she's gonna be like, well, I fucking know everything about this guy. I'm bored, on to the next. And she might dust off one of the other simps in her inbox, but you're all the same. You want to be different, guys. The reason why you're getting thrown into the friend zone is because you're the same as everybody else who's trying to get her attention. Don't try so hard. If she likes you, she's going to make it easier for you. If she doesn't, then don't force it. It's not going to happen. And that's okay. Not everybody is meant to be in a relationship. Just because you as a man really like her and you think on paper you're so perfect, she might think differently. She might think, I really like him, he's a great guy, but he's giving so much fucking feminine energy out there, I view him as a girlfriend, AKA, I just wanna be friends. If you're doing these four things, you're giving off feminine vibes. She wants a man who's on his path and purpose. She wants a man who isn't gonna just placate to her every whim and every time she texts you, bam, right there texting. Relax, live your life. If it's a relationship that's just budding and it's about to happen and you want it to happen, then just <sighs> take a deep breath, fucking relax, know who you are, you're an amazing man. She liked you in the beginning for a reason. So just let those embers cook so that then it becomes a flame. Don't blow out those embers and piss all over it by doing this bullshit. That's all I got on this, guys. My name is Jared. This is the Magnetic Men's Club. Of course, if you found any value in this, Consider subscribing to the channel. Leave me a comment. Hit the bell icon so you know when new videos are being dropped. Consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. The link is down below. It's 100% free. I have a ton of content I put in there. I do short videos in there. Also, in the next link below, consider subscribing to the Magnetic Men Private Group Mentorship Program. The link is down below. It's a very low rate. It's filled with so much information, so much technology, so many videos that I don't even post on YouTube. Consider taking a look at that only if you're truly looking to level yourself up. Consider if you need more help on this and you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, again, click the link down below to our website and apply for coaching. I don't take everyone because it is one-on-one -on -one with me. 
And if you're not interested in all that stuff, I do appreciate your time watching this video and we will see you on the next one. Thanks.